I am Catwoman. Hear me roar. Catwoman is an iconic part of the Batman universe, and she's had many live action iterations. However, one has stood the test of time and rose far above the rest. So why haven't we seen her more than once? Join Screen Rant as we blatantly praise Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. Batman Returns was the follow-up to the immensely successful Tim Burton 89 blockbuster. The first Batman was a worldwide phenomena and is still one of the best regarded superhero films ever made. The sequel would introduce fresh takes on other iconic members of Batman's rogues gallery, The Penguin, and Catwoman. Michelle Pfeiffer took on the role of Selina Kyle, and her version of Batman's on-again, off-again femme fatale would stand out as unique and fearsome. Her Kyle was very different from both the comic version as well as every other version we would see since. Pfeiffer's Kyle starts off as a bookish and meek secretary who works for Walken's evil businessman. He ends up throwing her out of a window and some possible brain damage and a lot of cats end up turning her into a vengeful anarchist. Pfeiffer's Catwoman is the most dangerous Catwoman ever put to film. While others have taken on the role, from Lee Merriweather to Zoe Kravitz, none have carried the same air of menace that Pfeiffer did. Her Catwoman is also perhaps the most iconic looking version of the character. Her outfit has a homemade look with stitches and latex covering a skin-tight catsuit. The more modern Catwomen have gone with more grounded and realistic takes on the thieves' outfits, which have only served to dilute the character, making it hard to stand out against Batman himself. Other Catwomen, such as Hathaway or Kravitz, also tend to actually avoid any direct cat influences on their character, least of all actually owning a cat. Comic book Catwomen and even cartoon versions all tend to have a black cat that they adore and sometimes even take out on robberies. The newer Catwomen seem almost embarrassed by the comparison. Their outfits even downplay the cat elements, giving her incidental cat ears that are more of a side effect of her equipment. Pfeiffer leans into the cat theme fully, as evidenced by this scene, which I will now show for reasons. Pfeiffer's Catwoman still stands as one of the only big screen versions of the character to embrace her feline persona. Who's your favorite Catwoman, and why is it not Halle Berry? Thanks for watching Screen Rant.